So, should men have long hair? Well, I uh, was walking home from the gas station the other day, and there was a guy who, I don't really know him that well, but he goes to the Assembly of God Babel building next door that I used to go to, the Assembly of Satan, and uh, I saw him walking up to me, and he has long hair, like, you know, shoulder length, uh, like flowing in the wind hair. <laughs> And so I thought, when he comes past me, I'm going to tell him, you know. I said, uh, doesn't the Bible say that it's a shame for men to have long hair? So his first response is, it's a shame, not a sin. Okay. So I didn't say anything. We keep walking away from each other. Then he turns around and he says, uh, Samson had long hair. God told him, uh, you know, not to have a razor touch his head. So I was like, well, you know, that's kind of a good point. Uh, I came home and I studied the subject a little bit. Here's the thing, that's a very bad reasoning, because, um, yes, God did say that for Samson, but this guy isn't Samson, and he's not a Nazarite, okay? So, that's, that was specific for Samson. Um, see, God also, uh, he also told Isaiah to go around naked for three years. Okay, so that doesn't mean that I can go around town naked and say, well, uh, you know, God told Isaiah to do it, so that's all right. <laughs> you know, no, I don't think it works that way. Um, so I'm going to read that verse, I guess, that, that I spoke to him, that I was referring to. Um, okay says that 1 Corinthians 11.14 Doth not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him? Okay, the word shame means like dishonor or disgrace. It's very negative, okay? Um, so is it a sin to have long hair? I don't know. Um, I don't know if I would say that it's a sin to have long hair, but I think that Rebellion is a sin, and I think in a way it's kind of rebellion. Um, so I'm going to try to go to some other verses. First um, Corinthians 11.1 1 says, Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. So that's Paul saying that you should be a follower of me, okay? And he wrote that, that it's a shame for men to have long hair. Um, so, okay. And Philippians 2.2 2 says, Fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Okay, so we're supposed to be like-minded. We're supposed to follow Paul as he follows Christ. Paul says it's a shame for men to have long hair, okay? And he thinks, and this guy that I spoke to, he thinks that it's fine. You know, he probably has pride in his long hair, okay? Um, he's not. He doesn't think that it's a shame, so he's not being like-minded. Okay, he's not following Paul. So, um, you know, I think that he's not hearkening to the Word of God. Um, I mean, I don't know if this really applies, but I'll just throw this verse out there too. James 4, 17, Therefore to him that knoweth to do good, and doeth it not, to him it is sin. You know, um, I don't know. He knew that the Bible says it's a shame for men to have long hair, but he still does it anyways. Um, God created men and women to be separate. Um, in the roles that they do in life and in their appearance, too. Um, you know, women are to have long hair. Uh, men are to have short hair. You know, and the question's like, well, how long? Well, I would say, you know... I would try to stay away as far as possible as I could from it being long. I mean, I wouldn't always shave my head bald or nothing like that, you know. Like, my hair, you know, it's kind of, looks kind of long there. 
I don't know if you would consider that long. I don't think that I have long hair right now. Okay, like I said, he had shoulder length hair flowing in the wind. You know, if you can put your hair up in a ponytail like that, I mean, I would say that's certainly long hair. Okay, that's that's a lot closer to long hair than what I've got. Um, so, you know, when he says it's a shame, it's not a sin. Well, is his is his philosophy, is his reasoning to get as close as you can to sin without crossing the line? And you know, as long as it's not sin, but it's, if it's as close as possible, but it's just not there crossing that line, then then it's okay. I mean, I want to stay as far away as sin as possible, you know. <laughs> um, if Paul says that it's a shame for a man to have long hair, then you see, I'm like-minded. You know, the Bible is the Word of God, okay? It's a shame for men to have long hair. That means that I'm not going to grow out my hair, okay? So, I don't know. Um, I would just like some input on this. What are your thoughts on this? Any other verses um, to go to? So thanks for watching. I think that um, like a Christian should not have long hair at all. Certainly, you know, definitely not shoulder length, flowing in the wind, hair. You know, that's girlish. You need to get that cut. Okay, you need to repent. But you know, like I said, this guy goes. He's a Pentecostal. I don't even think that he's saved. So, you know, it's just whatever. God bless. Thanks for watching. Except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.